Hi, this is Mark Minson with Mathnasium of Draper, Utah. Today we're going to talk about using base 10 blocks for addition and subtraction. A base 10 block gives you a little tiny square for one, a row of 10 for your tens, and an entire sheet of 100 that's 10 by 10 for your hundreds. Now, if we were going to use these kind of blocks, we would have probably several of our little square unit blocks. And I would uh, grab those five, that would give me five. And I have a single 10. And let's say I want to subtract eight from that, all right? If I'm going to subtract eight from 15, well, I only have five blocks here. So I need to take these 10, add them to my five, giving me a total of 15 blocks in my ones point. Eight from 15 is seven. And what that would basically do is take my five and three more and leave me with seven from my 10 block. We would have to break our tens block up into 10 individual pieces. And we can do that by going back into our box of units and trading in 10 singles for one 10. And that's how we would use unit blocks to model subtraction. Thanks for watching. This has been Mark Minson with Mathnasium of Draper, Utah.